Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today we're going to be doing a skincare haul. Now, I actually just finished filming another video and I bought a bunch of skincare recently and my Sephora package just came in, so I thought I'll just sit down and film this haul as well. So if you guys have been watching my channel recently, like the past um, six months or so, you know that I've been testing out a lot more skincare products um, and I feel like skincare has become such a big thing in this past like year and a half, especially with being quarantined and stuff, a lot more people have been, you know, taking care of their skin more and um, just using more skincare in general. So I have been really um, into skincare recently too. And although I've always been interested in skincare, I think lately I have definitely taken an even bigger interest and tried out a lot more products and I'm also looking at um, trying even more. So I have a bunch of new products here to show you guys and I just want to do a haul so you guys can kind of see what test videos will be coming in the future. Future. All right, so let's just start with Sephora and more specifically The Ordinary. I ordered a bunch of The Ordinary products. I've really, really been into this brand and I want to try even more products from them. So let's just get started. Um, so I got The Ordinary Lactic Acid Plus HA. This one I did purchase a little bit ago. If you guys watched my six month update, Letting Hiram Build My Skincare Routine video, you know I would have mentioned this in there. Um, so I'm really excited to try this out because I tried out The Ordinary Peeling Solution, the BHA and AHA, and I did really enjoy that one but because I have such sensitive dry skin I wanted to try something a little less intense so this is the lactic acid 10% plus HA and it's a high strength lactic acid superficial healing formula um, so this you're supposed to apply like once a day and it's supposed to be used um, kind of as an exfoliant so it is a chemical exfoliant I'm not really into um, physical exfoliants that much so I'm really excited to try this out and kind of see if it works for me it's supposed to target uneven tone, texture, and fine lines. So let's just open this up here to show you guys what it looks like. So here it is right here. It has like a yellowish orange formula to it. And it's cold right now because I was keeping it in my uh, skincare fridge. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. I do think I'm going to do like two week trial videos for each of these products. But let me know down below in the comments which products you want to see first and which ones you want me to try out and test out. Next from The Ordinary, I purchased the Hyaluronic Acid uh, 2% plus B5. And this is a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. So as I just explained, hyaluronic acid is great for dry skin since it draws moisture from the air into the skin. Now, if you live like in a humid climate this can be really good i live in a very dry climate so i'm interested to see how it works because i haven't actually heard a lot from people who live in dry climates with using hyaluronic acid so we'll have to see um but this is this one right here it's just like a clear solution and this you can use like twice a day um like before moisturizer and stuff so we'll have to see i'm hoping that this improves like my skin's dryness and kind of gives me that extra hydration i've used hyaluronic acid in the past but not for a long enough period where i really saw great results so i'm really interested to try this out Overall, I have to say I'm so happy The Ordinary now sells at Sephora because before I was searching everywhere like on Amazon and stuff, I was overpaying so, so much for products that cost just a few dollars at Sephora. Like most of these are around like six to ten dollars um, and that's even in Canadian prices. So I was just blown away. Um, so I'm just so, so happy that I can finally get The Ordinary at my local Sephora's. And then the last kind of serum-y product I got from The Ordinary is the Buffett and this is a multi-technology peptide serum now I've heard a lot of great things about this um, but I haven't seen it as like hyped on like uh, social media as the other ordinary products this is what this looks like right here just another clear serum and you can apply this am and pm it says after cleansing this is kind of one of those products that's like a all-in-one type formula whereas most of the ordinary stuff is kind of certain ingredients um, kind of individually so I'm definitely interested to see how this one works and the next ordinary product I got is um, actually a toner and this is the guy la, la, la. I have so much trouble saying this word I don't know why this is the glycolic acid 7% toning solution there we go and this is made with amino acids aloe vera a bunch of great things it looks like in here but I hope that it actually works for my skin because this doesn't work for, for anyone I was actually reading the reviews on this and it was like amazing amazing Amazing, best product I've ever tried, must have skincare item, and like terrible, terrible, awful on my skin. Like so many um really like 
extreme sides um, and opinions on this toner so I'm definitely interested to try this out this is what it looks like right here and you definitely get quite a bit of product um, you get 240 milliliters in here so that is quite a lot um, eight fluid ounces it says use ideally in p.m no more frequently than once per day okay that's interesting because i feel like most toners you can use twice a day and this claims to help with texture and lackluster tones so it's definitely supposed to bring like life back into the skin really brighten the skin and just make it look a lot better so we're definitely gonna have to try this out this is the one of the ones that i'm definitely very eager to try just because i don't have a lot of experience with toners and i never really found one that i saw noticeable differences in my skin i always just kind of thought okay this is kind of a pointless step in my routine for me so i would always just eliminate it from my routine so i'm excited to see how that works if my skin even tolerates it and if i find that it really does anything and the last product i got from the ordinary i can't believe i even got this because it's always sold out i swear like i added it to my basket right when it came back in stock and then i went to add another one and it was gone so definitely really really happy i got this so this is the salicylic acid two percent mask and this is formulated for blemish prone skin which hello that's me um i've seen this one definitely all over like tiktok and stuff this is what this looks like right here and this is supposed to be really really great for blackheads and acne because it does have salicylic acid in it and that's an incredible ingredient for blemishes um you know blackhead sebum everything like that i've seen a lot of people even just apply this just over their nose area um where you know blackheads and bigger pores are usually seen um i'm definitely gonna have to do a test video on this one and then with my sephora order i did use my points to get um a sample product so i actually had been looking at the clinique take the day off cleansing balm for a really long time since a lot of people like it it's supposed to be a really really good cleansing balm um at removing your makeup and stuff and i've been looking at it but it is definitely a little more on the pricey side for a product that's going to remove your makeup as opposed to like garnier micellar water which is definitely an affordable drugstore product and funny enough i was thinking about it but then when i went to my basket they had um the mini size as an option for or 100 points so i just got this mini so that i can try it out see if i even like the formula before i go and buy the full size and this is actually like a pretty decent size sample um it was 100 points but usually you know they're not that big and i found this a pretty decent size so here it is and it's filled right up to the top let me know if you guys have tried this clinique cleansing balm and then the last product i ordered from sephora are these peace out acne treatments now if you guys saw one of my most recent videos i just posted a video on the hydrocolide uh, band-aids like the hydro seal band-aids and i tested them out on my skin for a week on any blemishes i had and shared my results with you guys and you guys are loving the video so far so i picked up these ones right here because they're a similar thing you know you apply them over a pimple and um the nice part about these post the band-aids is these have ingredients like salicylic acid with them and as i said salicylic acid is an amazing ingredient for acne especially if it works for your skin um it's really good at clearing acne and blemishes and spots so this comes with 20 patches it's definitely a little bit pricey for just these little stickers but if it works it works you know you apply them and then that solution or the ingredients that they have in them can penetrate deeper into the skin and really um accelerate the healing process i think these ones actually blend into the skin a lot better than the band-aids i tried um so then you could wear them apply makeup over them and stuff so i'll have to test these out so next we have some products from the inky list now these ones were actually gifted to me by my best friend for christmas i told her that i've been wanting to try the inky list for a while now so um i was so happy to see these from her now, i definitely want to get a lot more inky products um after i'm kind of done testing the ordinary but um we have the hyaluronic acid right here and i've already kind of explained the ingredients i think after i test out the ordinary hyaluronic acid and this one on their own separately i might do a side-by-side -side comparison videos to tell you guys the difference i also want to do the similar thing with the inky list niacinamide 
but of course it's sold out everywhere so once that comes back in stock i'll definitely order it inculus is super affordable just like the ordinary and um they are online at sephora now um, she also got me the peptide moisturizer and this is best for dry skin which i have a lot of that this comes in this pretty big jar actually i really like the packaging of the inculus it's very simple um but i like the black and white it's just I really like it and this comes with 50 milliliters so quite a lot oh and kind of interesting on the back here it says use hyaluronic acid first to help draw in all the peptide goodness so maybe i'll even use these two together so that's awesome and the last products i'm going to mention in this video are just a few i got from the drugstore the other day so um we have the cerave renewing sa lotion and this is a salicylic acid lotion it's formulated for extremely dry rough bumpy skin and it's going to help prevent and reduce reoccurrence of dry itchy red flakes skin it's supposed to exfoliate to improve skin texture and it's formulated with salicylic acid ceramase aluminum lactate and vitamin d so a lot of good sounding stuff i have super super dry skin i'm hoping it's not going to be too too much on my skin so i'm definitely going to have to figure out how i want to use this i haven't really seen salicylic acid in a lotion form yet so um this definitely intrigued me and every time i see something from cerave now i just pick it up right away because they're always sold out that i just try to get my hands on as many products as i can from them because i do really like the brand and this is the last product i picked up from the drugstore which i'm actually gonna return and i'll explain why in a second but this is the verse daily dissolve cleansing balm now verse um i thought was only a available in the states at target but shoppers in canada now um carries it so if you're a fellow canadian you can find verse at shoppers and i've heard a lot of good things about the brand and i just wanted to pick this up but after doing a little more research this does have eucalyptus oil in it um which i'm trying to stay away from fragrance and um essential oil to my skincare so i might have to return this for that um it has vitamin e which i love vitamin e in my skincare it's a great great ingredient and the second thing about this which i actually heard in one of Hiram's videos um this has polyethylene in it which is basically a plastic um and since you're rinsing this off every day it'll just like go into your sink and it's really bad for um marine wildlife and stuff so i'm probably going to return this but i do still want to try out some verse products so i might pick up their other products and skip on this one but um if you guys have any product recommendations from verse let me know so i can go pick up some of those but that's really it for the skincare haul guys um i'm so excited to try out a bunch of these products and film videos for you guys using these testing them out and really seeing if they work on my dry acne prone sensitive skin um but anyways thank you guys so so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time i upload a new video and yeah guys that's it for this one i'll see you in the next one bye